tribe tiana t yeah that's me and i'm back at it again with another reaction video so all right reacts to clearance basically confirming or denying leslie's statements and also speaking up his truth but now we got leslie basically coming to clear up some more stuff after that you know it's just a lot to keep up with but here we are deciphering it and let's get into the video because no need to wait let's get into the video times and there were also bad times i think to the part of that he was looking for me he was trying to look for me whatever his maybe yes around that time that he was looking for me and he was trying very very really hard it was time where i was going through a heart heartache like i was trying so hard to be strong be a strong woman and not go back to him because i found out he cheated on me with who be specific also that's a valid point okay um yeah he, valid reaction. Me. he sent me messages like crazy trying to get back with me and trying to figure out why i disappeared and i'm not saying anything anymore because sometimes the best policy is not to say nothing and i stood quiet and i ignored him and i was so, so y'all were broken up but y'all said y'all weren't but if you wasn't answering you was trying to go back to him y'all broken up he would send me voicemails, and I would, I would listen to it, and I would cry while listening to it. I was hurting myself through the process, too, because Lord knows that I wanted to talk to him again and, and, and try to figure it out. But I knew that it wasn't right. I knew that he lied to me, and I don't know how he did it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know when it happened. It was just so sneaky that I don't know how it went down. And I'm not here to talk about my relationship with him when we were together Five years ago, in a, in, a, in two three years of our relationship, when I found things out and stuff like that, like I'm not here to talk about it because I know you guys don't really care about it, and I don't want to bash him about it. But I already addressed. We do care about it because you said you was gonna address it. You said you was gonna talk about it. You still ain't talked about it in the way we want you to talk about it. But I already addressed that we did go through a lot of things, and I took him back. I forgave him a lot of times, and. I'm not no saint, but I know that I didn't sleep no, with nobody while we were together. I know I didn't do half the stuff that you did to me. No, I didn't. I didn't torment your mind. I didn't do none of that. I was the one in a very dark space because I was dealing with a master manipulator at the time. I just watched that last video with Clarence. Like I said, if he was looking at me with them eyes and that sincerity, I, I would have gave in too. So, potentially... Clarence is a master manipulator. And to her defense, Clarence did say he's so strategic. That's manipulation and it's fine. niggas that are manipulative are strategic. And I haven't had no other, I haven't heard no other claims about him being manipulative. But, you know, if anybody knows, it's his first real girlfriend. No one knows the stuff that I've been through. So it's not fair to downplay my story or anything like that. 2017, I was still with Clarence. September 4th, that first. If you don't care no more, if you don't want him back, why is you crying? I just feel like if you're going to get it out, get it out. But as far as like having tears, I feel like that means you still have current emotions because I ain't crying over nothing that I'm not really affected by no more. Like the nigga who broke my heart in 2015, I laugh at that shit now. I know everybody ain't built like that, but I laugh at it now. I'll be like, that was not the case. That nigga did this. I would not be on no version of tears because I, I don't care. So we built different, I guess. Half of the conversation that he's trying with him and Queen, I was still living in that house, okay? That's when we were watching YouTube or whatever. He started his first YouTube channel, his first q and I was still with him. I was there. I have a picture. Like, I was there at that time. And drop the receipts. Drop the evidence. Because if you ain't dropping no evidence, you ain't dropping nothing. You ain't saying nothing. We need, we need the receipts, sis. I didn't know. I didn't know that Queen had a whole conversation with him. I didn't know that. He just told me, oh, yeah, she told me I should start YouTube. I'm very nonchalant. Very nonchalant. Very, like, don't think too hard about it. Because if he said any more and you admitted that you were being insecure, you admitted that you was being a little bit crazy and assuming stuff, 
If he said any more, would you have reacted properly? You got to ask yourself that. Because if he told you, yeah, Queen told me to start YouTube, he did let you know enough to where he didn't hurt your feelings. Because he was walking on eggshells. And I can understand him walking on eggshells because I've been through that situation. And to his defense, he did mention Queen. And he didn't want to rattle you beyond that point. Because, of course, I would I would think something. The girl is saying this on YouTube. And I've watched her. You've watched her? Did we, as in they, watch her? But also, she's so flustered. I don't like how she's getting flustered as if, like, oh, she, she feels like he's calling her a liar and, like, just, well, he did call her a liar. But I don't like how she's so flustered and can't keep herself calm. It's it's making it hard to believe and listen to her. It's kind of like a girl, if what you said was true, if you spoke with complete sincerity and you was honest, you have no reason to be flustered. You should stand on your word and stand on your merit and you shouldn't have to have no no reactions like this. That's 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 scary to know. That would make me that would make me insecure and like wanna watch him a little bit more. That Which is what he didn't want because she was doing that already. I don't remember ever seeing because I didn't care to watch their videos and how they started and how it happened. So this was the first time I actually seen the conversation. And look, we were together at that time, which is stated in the, in the conversation or whatever. And around October, the ending of October was when he asked for space. I've already been through so much. Imagine four or five years. I've already been through so much. But somebody said, I need space? Fine. It hurt me. I told you I got cried about it. The worst place to cry is on YouTube because you're never going to live it up. You, I mean, you're never going to hear the end of it. So, I'm going to be honest. It's not that I don't believe her. It's just tears don't make me believe somebody more over somebody not crying. Like, if she was speaking from a stable place, a very calm place, a place of hey, I'm so sure about this. There's no reason to cry, no reason to get flustered. It's easier to watch and believe her. But right now, it's making it hard. But also it's making me think like, hey, do you still care? But it's also making me believe a little bit more on Clarence's side because you can see that her simply trying to state her, her case, she's already getting flustered, she's already crying, she can't get it out. It's kind of like hard to hear you and it's hard to be able to bring things up to you because if you cry this easily, it's really hard to kind of talk, but let's finish the video because we haven't heard all the tea yet. I wonder what kind of candle that is. in October he asked for the space we never when I say we didn't officially break up because we never said it's over at that time it was just a break that he wanted a space he told me I need to, there's things that I want to do and I can't do it while you're here and that made me feel some type of way what does that mean guys that means okay look I mentioned this before in my previous videos. If this is your first time watching, when you're young like that and you don't know how to communicate properly and you try not to hurt somebody's feelings because he's, he's basically, he didn't say this, but I could tell that he's walking on eggshells. I mentioned that because he said in his last video, he said that when he was with her, he always had to watch what he said, watch what he did, because it was really hard to, he had to watch what he said and watch what he did. So, to be walking on eggshells with somebody and not wanting to, like, step into an argument, because you always step into an argument somehow, some way. The best way to let somebody go without making an argument is, I want to do things that I can't do when you're here. 
I need space. Basically, if y'all living together and he lets you move out, you are pretty much not together. Y'all not on good terms. Y'all not together. He don't have to directly say it's over, but he should have because it's a coward move if you don't say, hey, I don't want to be with you at this point in time. It's a very, very coward move. But to, I mean, and to Les's defense, he definitely did not say it's over, but like those words basically meant it's over. Because me being in high school dealing with men like that, every time men like, oh, I just need some space or, oh, no, 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 I just need some time. Time means I'm trying to get away from you and time will help you get over me. The best to just like, not trip about it and just know that I'm, I'm, I'm looking out for somebody that I love. Like, I wasn't. And um, two months later, Queen came in the picture. And I don't know when she flew down to New York, but that shit happened so fast. She came to New York so fast. And she knew about my relationship with Clarence. She knew that we were together for five years. He knew about her. She knew how much he loved me and how much his family loved me. Clarence ain't mentioned the family loving her. Okay, sis, look, don't see. You know why? You know how she knew that? Because his mother never wanted to be in their videos. His mother still loved me, okay? She knew that Clarence, they both knew that his mom didn't want any parts in the video. She even told me, she said, listen, uh, they know I don't want to be in the video. I'm a part of that. You know, I love you, whatever. She didn't want to be in the videos. So she knew how much his family loved me and how much he loved me. Okay? So what better way, what better way to feel more superior than me and take all that love away from me and my family Away from me, what better way? What better way than to have a baby? Ooh. How you gonna blame Queen for getting pregnant? Clarence got her pregnant. Don't be like, what better way? Like, Queen didn't lock her legs around him and make him come at her. Clarence did that. That is not, that is not Queen's fault. And I can see that she got animosity towards Queen, but I'm gonna let her get her emotions out because she's still hurt and she need this. Like I said, that video that Clarence made is gonna give her the, the most closure that she needed because she, she clearly needed closure, guys. He got, he finally got famous because he always wanted to be famous. I'm happy that he got there. But back to her, what better way than to like get his eyes off me? I'm still quiet. I swallowed this pain. I didn't even. That is not Queen's fault. And that is the victim shit that he talked about, I guess, because that is not Queen's fault. Queen did not purposely get pregnant. You think Queen wanted to get pregnant that fast after? like, being left from her husband and, like, divorced from her husband. You think Queen really wanted that? Queen was embarrassed. I would be embarrassed if I was Queen. Like, I just, like, basically lost the love of my life at the time. I lost my husband. My child's father and us are not in the same um, household no more. I don't know how that's going to work with CJ. How CJ's going to, like, grow and become accustomed to that. You think I want to get pregnant by this nigga that fast and I really don't know if he really down for me? Do you think she really wanted that? I don't really think she really wanted that, but I understand being in an emotional state right now that that's what you think. And it's, it's good that she's getting this out because then she can hear from Queen and Clarence that it was not planned. This is not what we wanted. Like, she didn't try to trap Clarence. If anything, if anybody trapped anybody, Clarence probably trapped Queen. Not Queen trapped Clarence. Why is she blaming Queen so much? Like, why is the hate and the the blame going to Queen. Clarence, if anybody trapped her, if he wanted clout and fame so bad, he to blame. Express, I tried to write to him and express this pain that I had. I think people were speculating that she was pregnant in four months of them speaking. I think that was around, uh, that's what the 
calculations came up as and um ooh, but they let it out August or on August I think it was that they let out the news. And when I found out those news, I had just woken up one morning and my phone was blown up. So my mom, my whole family, Sandra even called me, and his mother even called me, and I didn't answer because I was obviously sleeping. But when I woke up, I already saw social media attacking me. How you feel, sis? How you feel he got her pregnant? How you feel that she was in the bed that she was laying in? And blah, blah, blah. they were just saying mean things to me. Oh, I can definitely see the Instagram trolls. People ain't got no life on social media. Like people be in my comments now. I'm like, I'm not even famous, and they be in my comments talking shit. Like I can definitely see everybody coming for her neck. Hmm. And I ignored it. I didn't say nothing. I didn't say she had nothing. that blood button. I stood quiet. Okay. I didn't even call her back because what are you gonna? What are you calling me for? What are you calling me for? That ain't... Look, I, I feel her. I feel her. But her son getting queen pregnant ain't really had nothing to do with her. She can't control his penis. She called the check up on you because she loved you and that's sincerity. And I... Ooh, I can't imagine being her. I can't imagine being Leslie. That, that... Ooh, I would have been a bitter ex a long time ago. It's a few... I don't know what month it was or a week. I don't know. I, there was a time that I went. I want to. I want to get the storyline straight. But when I was, when let me go back. When I was, when I left and I gave him that space, the, those two months or whatever. And right when they started, like I don't know. I think they were going live. I want to say when it all surfaced and 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 I was introduced to their bond and their friendship. <clears throat> I remember speaking on the phone with him and he told me, I'm gonna say this again, this is business, I'm gonna say this was either this January, I, I don't know when it popped up. I wanna say this was in January or sometime or December, I, I can't, it had to be the ending of December, something along those lines, I don't really, I can't pinpoint the date, but it's when it, it, it started up. So I it was on the phone with him and he told me, um, you know, this is business, you know, that I love you and I want to have babies with you and you're the girl that I want to marry. He told me that. I had held on to that. I still loved him. It was five years. I just wanted him to be happy and get to the space where he wanted to. And yes, I was in a dark space. I lost myself in him. Okay? You can't blame me for that. Another thing that I was holding on to, because around the time, around that time that they got together or whatever, I don't, I can't pinpoint the date because I'm not going to go back to their videos or figure out how it all started or anything like that. But I do remember when I went to his house and I didn't feel comfortable going to the basement because I already knew someone else was there. Where it was my home. It's no longer my home anymore because I left and someone was there. But I remember talking to his mom. And his mom was telling me, Leslie, just be patient. Give him his space. You know that's not his type. You're his type. To be fair, in the Smash her past video of mod. Queen was not his type. That was confirmed on social media. Queen was not his type. That ain't no lie. Okay. She told me that. And it was, I don't know, maybe to comfort me during the space time that we were going through. Maybe it was to comfort me and still to keep me there because she knew. She knew us more than anything. Like, I lived with them. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, yeah, that was comforting. But I, I, I'm a woman. I know. I know. And I know when a girl wants what she wants, she's going to get it. <laughs> she will try. Some way, somehow. But I also held on to what his mom said to me. I also held on to what she said. And she said more things. 
that I'm not going to say because it's not necessary. If there's time to get it all out since you came came social media, now is the time to say everything and drop everything and let us know what's really going on because we don't, we know Clarence. We don't know you. We don't know your story. So it'll be nice to know your story, girl. Okay? It's not necessary for me to say. So I'm going to just leave that there. But she did tell me that that's, that's not his type. You're his type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, I guess. People's types change. I'm just trying to think of that. I don't have a notebook. I, don't, I talk about things from my heart and how I remember my story. I'm not here noting things down. I, I, I try to do that, but I just can't reread shit. I can't just can't do it. But I gave him his face, his face or whatever, and we was talking here and there, but it was hard for me to talk to him because it was hard for me to accept the fact that she was in the house making videos in the bed, in the couch, and, and it was hard for me to see. And I'm not, I'm not going to be naive to what could have possibly happened in the crib. As you should. I'm not going to be dumb about it. And when I say the videos was getting a little too much, it was getting a little too much for me that I knew that I had to just let him go. And then when when I when you mentioned about clout and chasing money and blah, 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 because that's what I said. When I didn't say that, I said, I was referring to the book, and I said, you never told me that. But it's the obvious. And what I mean by that is, yes, those business collaborations that you already agreed that you told me, those business collaborations that you said you was going to have was only going to help you. Yes, you was going to grow your following. And if it came with money, then it came with money. But I wasn't saying you were out here chasing clout or you chasing money. I didn't say none of that. But it was the obvious. That was going to happen. Okay? I didn't say none of that. It was the obvious. To talk about um, that you said that I was body shaming her or or talking about me and her, like, I've never done that neither. Like, if, if I did that, please show me that because I never did that. And I'm pretty sure YouTube would have already had it. I do remember making a video on live. I was on live and they recorded me and it's on YouTube. And they were talking crap about Queen on my live. And I was just like, please, guys, take the negative off my page or whatever. I think she has a beautiful voice. I wish her many success. I did say I remember that. that. Something along those lines I said. I remember that. She did keep it sweet and the cute. This track, I've never made a diss track. Does it even look like I would make a diss track? I don't got bars. I, I, don't, I don't rap. I don't have time for that. That is not my specialty. Why would I even do that? I'm, people make their own... The whole internet was making their own assumptions and they were critiquing and giving their own opinions or whatever. And if somebody and anybody in my family wanted to do something like that, that's their business. I have nothing to do with it. I don't think she wrote the book no more, but I did say if she didn't write it, she at least okayed it. So if somebody in her family wrote the book, somebody she knew close, she would have been like, hey, they ain't got to do with me. I washed my hands with it. And that confirmed that potentially she might have known about a book getting wrote, written. But I don't think she personally wrote it no more. Okay? I had nothing to do with that. And when you called me and you pressed me about it, I was on the phone with you and I was crying. Because the way my Instagram was going, it was going bananas. Like, people were going crazy on me. And I was just like, yo. But I didn't, I have no parts of this not me. That is not like me to do that. Okay? It's just not like me. So don't try to make me look like something that I'm not. I was never a messy person. Okay? If I wanted something out of you guys, I would have did it a long time ago. I had an opportunity to do it a long time ago. Okay? And I, I sure as hell did not write this book. But it's talking shit about me. Okay? And I have every right to say something. That's okay? true. I have every right to say something. And you didn't even have to react to it. But you did. And I felt like I wanted to react to it too. And maybe when I was reacting to it, my storyline didn't 
it made crazy speculations and I was misconstrued a, a few times or whatever because I was just going along with the book and what was popping up in my head, what I remembered. What better way to take advantage of the space that we were in, to take advantage of the fact that he never had a kid, but you, you did. You have a baby and you are an experienced woman. So what it takes to have a baby. Us women, we all track our ovulation. I'm pretty sure you did too. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure she tracked her ovulation. This is, it was, y'all, this is really hard to watch because I'm gonna be real, I, I do not track my ovulation. Even when I'm just going about my daily life, I'm only tracking the day my, my cycle's coming and around what week so I can plan my uh, vacations if I'm having vacation accordingly, but I do not track my ovulation unless I'm trying to actively have a baby. Her, her menstrual, I'm pretty sure she knew when she was ovulating and when she was most fertile. Like, you're not, you're not just gonna sleep with somebody and just not know. You was moving very maliciously, very maliciously, and for that, I can't forgive you. You had a husband figure it out with him. Yeah, he did you wrong. And you was going through the shared things that you was going through, but so was I. And the same thing that you was going through, you did it to me. And the crazy part about this is, you didn't even know him. But from the moment that you slid into his DM, you was plotting on him. You knew exactly what you was doing. I, it's okay. I think she did too. That was not like ugly. Woo! That was a very interesting video. I got a lot to say. First, I felt like Leslie finally, I felt like Leslie finally showed us the real her. Leslie finally got vulnerable and real and stopped trying to keep it cute, which is what we needed. Leslie is showing us more into her personality. First started this whole thing basically saying that, oh, I don't care anymore. That was three years ago. I'm not really like even, I'm not really even pressed anymore. But this video showed otherwise. This video showed that she was so pressed. This video definitely revealed that her hate is not with Clarence. Her hate is all with Queen. She don't hate Clarence. And she did have a little string of hope that Clarence is going to come back. And not just because of he always came back and he always worked it out, but also you can definitely learn that his mom had a part in this. His mom loved her. She felt like she was safe because the family loved her. And the mom was like, just give it time. So she had all that hope to hang on to. And when Queen got pregnant, she was crushed. And she think Queen plotted to get pregnant. But I do truly believe that in the heat of the moment, when you like somebody and you kind of going through things and you ain't really been touched in a while because Queen did mention like like she had took a long, very long, long break from, you know, sex because they weren't having a good time. Like they were going, they were really in like the worst situation they'd ever been, her and Chris. So I really do believe that in the heat of the moment, nobody cared about ovulation. Nobody was tracking ovulation. Queen definitely wasn't tracking that. Queen was just kind of like, a, oh, I'm lost in the moment. Because she liked Clarence. They had a nice little vibe. And I don't think she was tracking her ovulation. But I also don't think her hate and her anger should be with Queen. That's not Queen's fault. Clarence ejaculated in Queen. That is Clarence's fault. And the rumors were that Clarence got her pregnant to the security bag. But anytime Queen gets pregnant again, Clarence be stressed out. Clarence was like, we got so much we got to do. Like, we got this, this, and that. Clarence was just building his clout. And Clarence is a type that want to plan a baby. He's strategic. So I don't think it's really near one of their faults. But if we want to put fault on anybody, that's Clarence's fault. But I can still see that she has so much love for Clarence still that she can't, she still can't blame him. She still keeps falling for his puppy dog eyes. She still got that love for him. Even though she said she didn't, she still clearly has so much love for Clarence. And five years is a long time, but three years is also a long time. And I feel like 
she need she needed this closure. And I feel like, honestly, at this point in time, they got a whole lot to say to each other that they never got to say. They never had the closure to, like, kind of address this. I feel like if anybody should, like, get a face-to-face -face meeting, it's these two. You know how Hurt Bay and them had that face-to-face -face after, like, you know, that, finally, that break to finally, like, ask questions and address the situation? I think this is needed for these two. These two need to sit face-to-face -face and let us see it because you cannot leave us out. Like, that's unfair. Let us see them go face to face and talk and get everything out because it's needed. She needed closure. I feel like Clarence's video provided closure, but it's clear that she needs a lot more closure when it comes to did Queen get pregnant on purpose? Did Queen really want to steal him from his girl? Because from what Queen knew, he was a single man. He was a single good looking man. I feel like it's not Queen's fault. She still just can't blame Clarence. She still can't pull fault on Clarence for some reason. But if it's anybody's fault, it's Clarence for stepping away from her. It's Clarence for, you know, sliding to Queen. And it's Clarence's fault for collabing with Queen and getting so close to Queen. Clarence is the only one to blame in this situation. Now, Queen ain't entirely off the hook. Because in my previous videos, when I was reacting to how they met and everything, how he showed the whole thread... It was innocent at first, but Queen was definitely plotting. She is not wrong in that statement. Queen was definitely plotting. And I pointed out when uh, Queen was like, I'll wear a shirt for you, though. Queen was plotting a long time ago. Queen Ben said that was her Instagram crush and all that. But honestly, I still feel like the way it all came together, yes, it hurts. Yes, um, I feel sorry that Leslie had to be on the back burner and had to go through that. But Clarence wanted to be an influencer. His page is already popping, and he was already getting up there. And he was he was curious about YouTube. Queen was a YouTuber. Queen been crushing on him. I don't know how she even knew about Clarence. I don't know how she even started crushing on Clarence. Except that she, most of her people that like her and fuck with her are from New York. So maybe him being in New York and she had a lot of people from um, New York fucking with her. Her ex explore page was from New York. A lot of New Yorkers. So for her to find Clarence. And he's trying to get into her arena. She's already in the arena and she already was crushing on him and her reaching out. I feel like it's a faded encounter. And I feel like that's, that that you can't really you can't really interfere with divine intervention. I feel like it was very divine. And I do feel like watching this video, some of Clarence's points are valid. The she liked to argue a lot, or she was someone that he couldn't really talk to because I could see how she is. She's getting flustered. It's hard for her to get her, her comments out, but she hurt. She got a whole lot of hurt and she never got the address. So but I could definitely see how talking to her always leads to tears. And it's kind of hard to like do that because you don't want to be the reason that somebody keeps crying and is always in a bad mood. And she did mention, and she did accept the fact that she was in a dark space at the time. And Clarence does not fault her for that. But when Clarence moved on, he moved on to something better. And by better, something better for him and what he wants and what he needed because he's not an affectionate person. Someone as emotional as her, as you can see, she got a lot of love. She got a lot of passion. And it's hard for her to articulate that constructively. For someone who has all that love and Clarence don't know how to show love, that was not really good for her. And Leslie needs to understand that that's not good for you. Like, you want that because you had it for so long, that's all you know, you're used to it, and that's what you kind of mapped out and saw in your head, but is that really good for you? Is that really what you wanted, sis? Did you really want a man that could cater to your emotions properly? As your man, your end-all, be-all, did you want to continue that rough cycle, that argumentative cycle? That Did you want to continue being in that dark space because you had an opportunity to climb out? Did you really want to do that? Was Clarence really the man for you? You keep saying that Queen took your man, Queen stepped in, and Queen did this, but was Clarence really the man that you needed? Or was Clarence the man that you wanted? Because it seems like you need to find more patience, somebody more tender, and Clarence didn't have that in him. Queen is drawing it out of him. Queen is, like, able to get that out of him, but Queen is giving him more patience. It seems like you needed that immediately, and Clarence didn't have it. But also, I can definitely see the communication factor. When Queen is upset and Queen's trying to communicate, I've seen in her videos when something's happening, Queen 
kept a level head and knew how to communicate properly. And the tears didn't come in and start flustering herself or making the conversation hard. I can definitely see how it's a lot more constructive when it comes to emotions. So, Leslie, I understand you hurt, but Queen ain't the one you should be hurt by. Clarence is the one you should be hurt by because he let her into your home. He let her into his heart. Clarence is the culprit. Queen is not the culprit. However, Queen was the antagonist. But at the end of the day, it's divine intervention. Y'all time was up. Leslie, you needed somebody better than Clarence. They don't mean that Clarence is a bad guy. You know, you can see that, you know, he, he did fuck up a couple times, but Clarence wanted the one for you. And it's okay. You need to go find somebody that's for you. Or let the person that's for you find you. But that's all I'm going to say on that. But y'all need that face-to-face -face hurt bay action. Y'all need to talk face-to-face -face and get it all out. Because you need a clarity that Queen did not get pregnant on purpose. Because like to say that, I could definitely see. I've been there, girl. I've been there. I can definitely see how you can be like, she did this on purpose, she did it to hurt me. But like, that's your hurt heart talking. That is not your brain. That's not your logic. Your logic would have told you Clarence is the one you should be angry at. Your heart that's still aching to this day and seeing him get everything that he wanted and you're not by his side. That's your hurt heart talking. You feel like you were left alone. You feel like you have nothing, but you don't have nothing, girl. You got looks. You're beautiful. You have a platform that you can build now and you can turn this around. You can be a strong woman. You can be a stronger woman. You could attract a stronger man that can deal with you. Clarence could not handle you. Clarence was a coward at the time of how he let you go. I do feel like it's better out there. Clarence looks good. Clarence is fine, but Clarence ain't the finest nigga on earth. He fine though, but there's finer out there. There's fine men that are emotionally available. There's fine men that aren't uh, manipulative, like you said. And there are fine men out there that know how to love you the, the way you need to be loved. So that's my final verdict. Let that nigga go or have that final conversation face to face. But this, he make a video, you make a video, ain't gonna solve nothing. Sit face to face, get this all out and move on. And that's all I gotta say. Like this video, let me know your thoughts, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see y'all in the next video. We about to get into Chris Sales. What does Chris have to say about this? Or why did Chris drag himself? Because you know he be like, oh, they told me to react, and didn't nobody tell him shit. So let's go see what Chris got to say about the conversation. So see y'all in the next video.